guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on this look right here. It is this really simple cranberry eye look. I know I probably should have done this a month ago for Valentine's Day, but you don't need to wear it for Valentine's Day. You can wear it at any time of the year. I just don't like Valentine's Day. That's why I didn't make like a specific Valentine's Day tutorial this year. That is why. Anyway, this look is super out of my comfort zone because I never really wear like cranberry or red toned eyeshadows, but I really like how this came out. So if you guys want to see how I got this, then keep on watching. Alright, so I already did my face and I already primed my eyelids. I used the Urban Decay Primer Potion just to speed this whole tutorial up. So I'm going to go in with my Tartiste, Tartiest, I don't know how to say it, Pro To Go palette. And I'm going to take the color um, Drive and this fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going to kind of use this to set the primer and kind of put this in the crease also as a good like transition blending shade. Next, using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, I'm going to take the color Love Letter and this Sigma E25 blending brush. It's just like a little travel size sample you one. I'm going to pop this in the crease. I'm only going to take a little bit on the brush because this color is very pigmented. So I like to just use a little bit at a time and kind of just build up the color as I go. Next up with this pencil brush, I'm just going to go back in with a love letter and kind of just drag this along the lower lash line just a little bit. You don't want to drag it all the way because using these reds, like if you use a lot, it'll kind of make you just look like really sick looking kind of. So I just like to run a little, want to run a little bit along the lower lash line, not even like halfway, a little less, just to kind of like connect everything together. Then I'm just going to take this Sonia Kashuk blending brush just to blend everything together and make sure everything looks good because on like the outer corners it is like a little darker which I kind of didn't want but just to blend everything together and make everything like flow that's why I'm going to blend. Now for the lid I'm going to be taking this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the color Drift. It is such a pretty cranberry color I'm obsessed so I'm just gonna take a little bit on my ring finger and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pat it on my eye and then I'm gonna go back in and then swipe it across my eye when you swipe the colors and like the shimmers just come out so much more and it looks so beautiful I actually learned that trick from um, Jackie Ayana I'm just going to go in with this Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner and line the lids, but I'm just going to keep the line really close to my lash line and kind of do just like a little flick, kind of like what I did for my Kim Kardashian inspired makeup look. If you guys haven't seen that, that'll be linked down below.
thing I probably should have done before I did my eyeliner, but I totally forgot to kind of do it and I just realized I should do it now. I'm just going to clean up the edges and I'm going to be using my NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer on this little brush from BH. To kind of just clean things up, you can go back in with your beauty blender or beauty sponge, whatever you use. That one, the one I'm using is the Real Techniques one. And just go in with the side that you use your foundation or the side that you used to do your foundation. And it'll kind of just put like the leftover foundation that's on there to blend it out easily. And you can't really tell that you use concealer to clean it up. gonna go back in with this pencil brush and kind of just connect the like wing in the outer corner just a little bit more um because it did kind of go away when I cleaned up the with the concealer next up I'm gonna go in with this elf mascara primer and then I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna move on to lips All right, so for lips today, I don't want you guys to hate me. I'm going to explain. The combo is going to be this e.l.f. What are these? Like the matte lipsticks in natural. I'm going to line my lips with this. Then I'm going to be taking my NYX liquid lingerie in the color Lace Detail. Now, I know I gave these a bad review in a video a couple months back. But, I would not suggest, I still stand by my opinion and the whole video, I still don't love these, but I've realized that if you pair it with this, it works, and it's not chalky, and it's not uncomfortable. So, I still don't love them. This is the lip combo, and I promise you that this will be the last time you ever see this in a video. I know I said I would never use it in a video ever again. But like I said, I've kind of noticed that it works with this. Not entirely. I still don't love it. But just try it and see for yourself how you like it. So first I'm going to just line the lips and fill them in with the color natural. And then I'm going to go in with the NYX Liquid Lingerie in Lace Detail on top. For mascara today, I'm sure you guys already know the drill. I'm probably like a broken record by now. I'm going to be using my Too Faced Better Than Sex. This e.l.f. Volumizing Mascara, the full name will be down below, and my Maybelline Great Lash.
one last second decision. I'm going to add this um, Ulta Armec Eyeliner in Black Brown just to the waterline. This is really, really pretty. It's not so harsh as a black eyeliner would be in the waterline. It looks just really nice and like it'll just pull the look together a little bit more. And that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not already, please hit that red button down below to subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me if you subscribed. Follow me on all my social media. Those are always linked down below. I'm super active on Twitter, so you should definitely follow me there. And if you guys have any video suggestions on things you would like to see from me next, please tell me in the comments below. Or if you just want to leave a comment saying, hey, please do that too. Love getting your comments. And I think that's all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!